your end of your 10th season in, in Formula E, pretty incredible. Um, just recap your season for me and, and, and in terms of looking for next season as well, with potentially, are you expecting to be staying on and with the Lola team or is that still up for debate? Uh, first, this season has been a very frustrating season because performance hasn't been that bad. We managed to actually improve a lot during the year. Qualifying has been somehow okay and the race pace also not so bad. I just didn't manage to turn this performance into points. So very frustrating. I'm happy the season is over after these two races. We give it 100%. We give it a go now. But it's happy that this chapter is closed with the Mahindra powertrain. And the negotiations are going very well with Lola. At the moment, they're still deciding the driver lineup. And the market is of the drivers are shifting a bit in some, in some many teams. So we're waiting a little bit to make the decision, but uh, I hope I can stay with the up team and, and continue the work. Yeah, in terms of obviously, by the time we're here next season in London, it might not be on the calendar. We could be heading to a, a permanent circuit, for example. Is it really important for Formula E to try and stay in London or try and stay in the big cities? Because we've gone to Tokyo, that's a huge event. London's a huge event. We've lost Rome, we've lost Paris over the years. Is it really important that Formula E to try and stay in the cities rather than go into permanent tracks? Or is permanent tracks just something that we have to get used to? My vision of the Formula E calendar is divided in three thirds. So one third key events like you described, like Tokyo, like uh, Zurich was, like London and so on. So one third of the calendar in key cities like New York once was. One third in tracks that you could mix up with other series like Monaco, Long Beach, uh, whatever, St. Pittsburgh or whatever, Macau. So one third only Formula E special tracks, one third mixed city tracks, and one third permanent tracks. I think if we reach this balance, it's very good and will make sense both financially and in terms of sport. Yeah, do you think the calendar could be then longer? Because obviously it's quite, this season's gone, it's flown from January to July. It feels really quick. I feel like, I know we're starting in December, but we still finish in July. There's a lot of spaces next season. Do you think there could be room to extend the calendar? Maybe for a month, maybe ending in August rather than, Rather than finishing now? Yes, maybe. I don't think that's very relevant. I'd rather have a good calendar that is six months than a very spaced calendar that is eight or ten. So I think the, the, this is not a rele very relevant point. I'm more focused on the races itself. Okay. Thank you very much, Lucas.